Okay, welcome to this channel. Today I'll teach you how to make this lovely design. The design you just saw at the displayed picture. I'll be using this fabric to to draft to make it this lovely fabric. Watch me teach you how to use it to turn make out what you just saw. Just a, a gun with a rubber a, a elastic on the waistline with a slant pocket and also it has a balloon sleeve i teach you how to make it without wasting time i would like to explain some pattern that i've already drafted in order to cut it out i'll be using this pattern i just drafted it i'm using this for the back side this is exactly from the waist from up to the waistline from shoulder to the waistline this is it and this is a front panel I just rule it in order to give it a guideline you can decide to rule it you can also say to go from your shoulder to your waistline in order to get this and also use your normal measurement the no measurement you need for this to tell is just your bust measurement your and your waistline measurements so you can say to do it this way and other basic measurements the the armhole the neckline so the, for the sake of this tutorial it will be having the neckline and also the sleeve this is the sleeve remember i said it's going to be a balloon sleeve it's going to be a balloon sleeve if you really want to know how to make it i would like you to watch the very end of this video and before we start, if you have not subscribed to this channel, I would like you to subscribe to this channel. I would like you to like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Like it. Share it to your friends. And also leave your comment. Feel free to, to leave your comment at the comment section. Let's get started. I will show you how I will be doing it. First, I will be folding the fabric. I will be folding the fabric. I'm placing the, the I'll be placing the the pattern on it to cut it out. I will show you in a moment. So at this point I've already attached placed the fab the pattern on the fabric and you can see that I've used pin pin to hold it so that there won't be any shifting. I use pin to hold it. There won't be any shifting. So I'll be cutting it out at this point. You see how it will look like. So I've already cut it out and I'll be removing the pin. There is no shifting. So this is the pack panel. So there's something I did. I cut out the front panel and the back panel at the same time. So I will be removing the front, the back panel. Then placing the, the the front pattern panel on it to cut out the neckline so that I'll be able to cut out the neckline. So this is the front panel. I'll be cutting out the neckline. Remember I said the front is going to have a V neckline. So this is it. How do I get the free neckline? I get it three, three inches, three and a half inches by six inches. Three and a half inches by six inches. 
so that's how I got it. You can make your own seven, you can make your own five, you can make your own four, you can make it three by four, you can make it three by five, you can make it any how you wanted it or your customer needs. So at this point, I have gotten the front panel, the from shoulder to the waistline, front and back panel. Then I'll be doing working on the down panel, which is going to be a the, the, the that the bottom side, the skirt side, which is going to be a line shape. So I will be minusing the from shoulder to the waistline in order to arrive at the normal length. The normal length for this to gun is going to be two. 42 inches so I'm minusing 18 and a half inches in order to get it I minus 18 and a half inches which I have already gotten from the from upper bust from my shoulder to my waistline I've already gotten 18 and a half inches so I'm getting I'm going to be minusing 18 and a half inches in order to get the normal length so this is what I'll be doing. I'll be placing, this is 18 inches and half. I'll be placing it here. Getting, oh, sorry, this, this is 18 inches. Like this. Like this this is 18 inches I've already minus it 18 and a half inch 18 and a half inches 18 and a half inches I've already minus it so this is it This is the wrong side of this fabric. When you are working with your pen, with your chalk, you use the wrong side of the fabric. This is the the down side. Fourteen. 42 inches the normal length including the seam allowance then I'll be cutting it out now at this point I'll be cutting it out I'm very sorry the place I'm using is a small place I'm just managing it So I've already cut out the the skirt side. That's the A-line part. I'll be marking it out, shaping it in the A-line form. So what I'll be doing now is from the west line. From the waistline, which is this, from this end, I'll be marking out my waistline. That's my waistline, my waist divided by four. That is waist 38 divided by four is nine and a half inch. I'll be marking out nine and a half inch. Here. Plus one inch seam allowance. This here. So this is what I'll be doing. I will draw a line. I will draw a line from here.
to get your airline ship. So all the way. You draw your line. Remember you are going to leave one inch. One inch seam allowance. Just draw a line. That is how to get your airline ship. Draw a line to the end and cut out. You see how it so this is it. I've already converted it to a line shape. This is it. Then I will set it aside for sewing. Then next I will be teaching you how to cut out the, the sleeve. So this is the the sleeve. Seam allowance and everything has been included. I've used my pin to hold it. You can do the same to your own. You can use your pin. You can as well cut it that way if you are too good. So I'll be cutting it out at this point. Seam allowance is included. So this is the sleeve. I've already cut it out. Removing the pin. So this is the sleeve. I'll be adding elastic at the bottom. So, so this is the sleeve. I, I I've included the same allowance and everything. So this is how the sleeve will be. At this point, at this point, I'll be draft carving out the the pocket. At this point, I'll be working with only the front panel. So I'll be drafting out the the pocket. So the pocket is going to be from here, mark out 7 inches, from here, remember it's going to start from your waistline, and here we're taking 2 inches, then I'll be Slanting it like a V, drawing a V shape. That's how the get will be. So I've cut it out. I am doing this to only the front side. That you can do, decide to make it any shape you like. You can make it a cup shape, C shape, U shape, any shape you decided. You can also make it straight. But for the sake of this tutorial, I just have to make my slant. So this is the pocket side. You will see how it will look like when I start sewing. For the pocket, for the pocket I'll be using 12 by 10. That is 12. That is. Twelve that is the twelve divided by two is six. Twelve by ten. Right. By ten.
So this is the slave for the two side pocket. So I'll teach you how I will be placing it on it in a moment. So at this point, to cut out the rope along the neckline, or let's say standing collar with a rope. So I, I'm using three and a half, three inches by twelve inches. So this is going to be twenty-four inches. So twenty-four inches divided by two is twelve inches. So I'll be cutting it out. You can make your own longer or shorter, depending on what you want. is what you get. You attach it to the neckline. It's like it's a little bit longer, wider. Yes, something like this will be fine. So I'll be cutting it into two again because I want it to be you see how it will look like, Sha. So I'll be attaching the two of them. I'll be sewing the two of them together. It's because of there is not enough fabric. So I'm trying to do anchor, economize the fabric. So it's better for it to be longer than to be short. So I'll be attach. I'll be sewing it this way. I use the the pin to hold it together. then you see how it will look like so this is all the panel this is the from shoulder to the waistline the top panel is it the front and the back and this is the skirt part this is the pocket and this is the rope for the collar. So in a moment I will show you how the sewing process will be. But if you have watched this video to this point and you have not subscribed, please do subscribe, like, share, subscribe, like, share. Please leave your comment at the comment section. Thank you. I will show you how the sewing process will be in a moment.